So we're going to be talking through the navigation of Salesforce, uh, talking about how you can search up different records and find certain information. Uh, this is obviously very important for a baseline understanding of Salesforce of how do you navigate Salesforce, making sure you're not getting lost, taking the wrong turn, and make sure that you're an expert on how you can find this information. We're going to start off by actually going into a developer org and talking through how we can navigate and find and what tools you can use as you search for information in Salesforce. So here I have just logged in to my free developer account, the Salesforce org here. Uh, there's some test records in here and I want to talk about how we can find information. So we're going to first start off by talking about uh, client information. So I want to be able to understand how can I find a certain account or a certain contact or a certain opportunity and where I can do that. So the first place that I always go, very simple, is the global search bar, which if you're seeing here is at the top of my screen. This global search bar is able to look through all records in Salesforce. So if I am looking for a particular uh, opportunity, I can search for it here, particular account, even a particular user. For example, if I put in my name and hit, and hit uh, search, it'll actually find my user. So it's not only just client records or customer records, but you're also able to search users, et cetera, et cetera. But here I am again. Again, I can search this at any time. So no matter where I am in Salesforce, I'm gonna jump into the accounts here. I can always have this global search bar. So this is extremely useful as I'm just looking for a quick way to find records, this global search bar. It's not going to limit you to any object unless you tell it to. So if you see here, uh, here's some recent things that I've looked up. But also you'll see here that the search is currently for all. So if I hit this down arrow here, I can actually really refine this search to certain objects within Salesforce. So let's say for example, uh, I want to look up only accounts. So as I hit search here, it's only gonna look through account records. It's not gonna look across other records. Now this is helpful particularly if you have maybe opportunities that are the same name as an account, et cetera, et cetera. You can really refine this search by object. I typically, personally, I, how I always have it set to all, so I can go ahead and search through all of my records within Salesforce. So this is the first place you wanna look at. No matter what page I'm in, this bar will always be showing. And so again, looking across all objects, looking across all records is the global search bar. Next up, I want to talk about list views. List views can be a very powerful tool for Salesforce users. Now, what a list view is, is showing a view of a list of records of one particular object. So as you see here, I'm on the home page. Now, if I want to see the list view for contacts, I would navigate to the contacts tab. And right here, this is currently a list view but this is the recently viewed list view. Whereas I can hit this down arrow and I can see all of the different list views that are available here. I can hit all contacts. It's gonna show you all of the different list, uh, a list of all the different contacts that are set up for the filters in place for this list view. So this is a list view. Now, a few things about list view. Uh, is that it's always gonna show you the records according to the object that you're on, which again, per my navigation bar, I'm on contacts. It's always gonna show you according to the filters that you have set up. So right now, this filter is looking at only, or this is looking at all contacts. Now, what I wanna do to teach you a few things about list views is I actually wanna create my own custom list view. And so what I would like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and go over here under these list view, right? I could be under anywhere, any list view at all. And I wanna go here to this cog here and I want to hit new, right? I want to be able to create my own list view. So I'm gonna create my own list view. Uh, I'm gonna have this one be demo test view. You can have the sharing settings here. Only myself view it. I can have all users or share it with a specific group of users. 
Um, in this case, I'll put it for all users. I'm gonna hit save. Now, right now, it's looking at any owner, any contacts that I own. And I want to play with the filters here. So again, under this right side is the filters. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open it up to all contacts. Uh, but maybe I want to add it to, um, you know, I want to add it for certain titles. So I'm going to say a title. If I come down here, I want to really look at, we're going to say only CEO titles. So I'm going to hit done here and I'm going to hit save. Now you'll notice here, there's only one CEO in my list view. So let's, let's actually look up. Uh, let's do a little, let's actually look up VP. So I'm gonna say contains VP. This may give us a, a few more results here. Great, so here I have, I have a lot of senior VPs and VPs. And so this is how I can filter my list view and how I can create it. Now something that's great is how can I add fields to this list view? You know, for example, maybe I, I don't really care their phone number or their email. Maybe I wanna see when they were created to see when they entered Salesforce, or maybe I wanna see the last time they were modified, et cetera. I wanna be able to change the, the actual columns or the fields that are showing here. Again, I'm gonna go back to this cog, and I'm gonna say select fields to display. As I hit that, you'll see that these fields pop up. So for example, I wanna take out the phone number, I wanna take out the email, uh, and maybe, you know, let's add, let's see here, let's go ahead and add we're gonna go ahead and add in the department and see if we have any data in the department field. And I'm gonna hit save. Perfect, so here is my list of VPs or senior VPs, and now I can see the department that they're a part of. And so that's how you can add and adjust the fields on the list views. Again, here under this cogs, select fields to display. Uh, and so again, here is where all of really the the controls are, as I mentioned, we can hit new, I could clone this, rename it, update the sharing settings, et cetera, et cetera. I recommend that you get into a developer org and you go ahead and create some list views, customize some list views, and be familiar with how to create list views, add fields to a list views, and filter list views. So here I am still on my demo test view, this list view that I created with you, but I, I don't want it how the table's looking. I actually wanna be able to click in to different records um, and have a split view. So be able to see this list while I'm still looking at records. And so how I can change the view here is if I go here on select list display, I'm currently looking at the table. I'm, inter I'm interested right now in the split view, which is gonna allow me to have this left side split, which is still showing the records within my list view, but now I'm actually able to click into them and go through the records while still maintaining this list view on the side. So I could you know, make sure that I'm tracking and, and going through this list as I'm looking at the records. So that is the split view. I wanna jump over to opportunities and show you what the Kanban view allows you to do and even edit as you look at something similar to this list view. So I'm gonna jump over in this navigation bar up here to the opportunities which again is like a deal, a contract, a negotiation, that sales engagement. I'm gonna choose here a, a different list view. And now I'm on the table, I have the split view, and I'm gonna look at the Kanban view. Now if you see here, the Kanban view is taking a certain field, in this case, the stage of these opportunities, and it's having it highlighted across this top bar. Now what's very unique about Kanban view is it gives you a very visual representation of how many records sit in certain stages. But what's also great is you're able to move these records and edit them straight from this view. So you see here, for example, this pyramid emergency is currently in prospecting and you're seeing a $100,000 uh, amount here. I can move this to a different stage and you'll see Salesforce update appropriately. This is a phenomenal tool, particularly if you're a visual person and maybe you're used to seeing these listed out as such in these nice sorted stages. But this is the Kanban view, allowing you to update information, particularly these stages, and move them, move the stages without leaving the Kanban list view.
Now, as we're talking about records, I wanna talk about a few other things and other places where you need to access information in Salesforce. So we've talked about the global search bar, we've talked about the different list views and how to find records. Now, let's understand when you're actually on a record, what you're looking at. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and jump onto a contact here. Uh, we'll jump on to Edna Frank here, and here is our record, right? Now, a few places, a few callouts I wanna make here. Uh, three in particular, really, is understanding where you can find related lists, which are related records to Miss Edna Frank, where you can find the details or the data for this record, and then where to find certain activity metrics or calls and emails, for example. Now, as I open this page up, You'll notice here this related tab, which what this means is that this is looking at all records in Salesforce that are related and tied to Miss Edna Frank. So in this case, I have no opportunities tied. I have two cases, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But these are the related lists. So for example, if this is tied to Edna Frank, let's go and click into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into this case and you'll see on this case that Edna Frank is listed right here as the contact. So that's why this case is on the related list because it's related to Edna. So this is the related list. Next up, I wanna talk about the details page or the details tab. This is standard across all objects in Salesforce. Out of the box, this is called the details section. This is where the actual fields or the inputs are for Miss Edna Frank. This is where her phone number is, address, title, everything that you would need um, in terms of, of details, particularly on this, this record, is on the details page. This is where you'll access all of that information. Now the third piece is something called the activity timeline. Uh, this is a running timeline showing your activity with this record. And by timeline, typically it's gonna be your emails, uh, your phone calls, any particular marketing touches or marketing content sent out. And that's found here on the right side. That is the activity timeline. Uh, again, because this is a developer org, I don't have any activities here, but you would have the activity shown uh, in, in a timeline fashion. And so that is the activity timeline. Now talking of some other fun pieces of a navigation and just how you can start to play with Salesforce a little more. Uh, Salesforce does have the ability to favorite records uh, and this allows you to favorite records. Maybe it's a, an important account for you, an important, an important opportunity, something that you're looking to make sure that you track pretty frequently. You can do that from any record page at all. So right now I'm still on this Edna Frank. A fun piece is I can go up here to the upper right and see this add favorite. I click this add favorite and now I'm gonna go away from Edna Frank, but see here on this dropdown, there's Edna right there waiting for me in my favorites tab. So I can do it across all objects. Here I am on a, here I am on a different opportunity. I'm gonna favor that opportunity and I'm gonna go on with my day. Go look at some accounts. If I go back to my favorites list, here's Edna and here's that opportunity. Now this next one is a favorite one of mine uh, as this is something that I'm often having to look through, particularly when users come up to me and say, oh, this record is missing or I accidentally deleted it, what do I do? And we're gonna talk about the recycle bin. The recycle bin is where records go after they're deleted. They're essentially gone to a recycle bin where you are able to bring them back. Now the way that you get to the recycle bin is through the app launcher. The app launcher allows you to navigate through all the different apps and objects within Salesforce. Now, to see where that is, it's here on the upper left hand, these nine little dots. If you click that, you're essentially launching the app launcher, where from here, I could actually search uh, an object. So let's say maybe, you know, I can't find my reports, or maybe it's not found on my navigation bar. I want to find my reports tab. I can type it in here on the app launcher, and there it goes, navigates me there. I could then search on here the accounts and it's gonna take me to the accounts. As I mentioned, the recycle bin is also found in here. So if I type in recycle bin, here it is. Here's my recycle bin 
where I can restore records that have been deleted. And so this is a great place where you can navigate to objects or other apps such as a recycle bin. Now you can also navigate between sales cloud and service cloud or sales cloud and marketing cloud with that same piece, right? Right now I'm in the sales cloud, right? But I've opened the app launcher and now I wanna to go to the service cloud. So now I've clicked into service cloud and it's gonna bring me to the homepage of service cloud where now you see different objects listed here, right? Here's cases, which is a big important piece for service cloud. And so the app launcher allows you to go through the different apps and objects. I can hit this view all down here if you wanna see them all in one place. I can see all of my apps as well as all of the different objects. Anything I can navigate, I want to navigate to within my Salesforce org. So this is the app launcher. Now next up, I wanna talk about how you can access your own personal information, as in your own user's information, such as your email, uh, your phone number, or you could set a picture for your icon, or maybe even set a signature, uh, et cetera. What we're gonna do here is, here I am on the homepage, and I wanna go to the top right for my profile here, and I'm gonna go to settings. As I hit settings, here, is my per here are my personal settings. Here's where I can go to update my email, my phone number, uh, my hours, uh, just within the personal information. Um, also note that here is where you can set up things such as your approver. I can go ahead and try and change my own password. Uh, I can also here under email, you know, I can set up my signature for my email. So these are all found under your personal settings under that top right navigation. You go under your profile and I'm gonna hit my settings. Again, this is where my user, Ryan, you know, I'm going into Salesforce working every day and these are the things that I want to go and maybe update. So that wraps up more or less the user side of how to access information, where to find information.